What is up ladies and gentlemen, CJ the Cheese DJ here and we're back with another A to Z of Arc for you guys today. And today guys, we're taking a look at none other than the Diplo Callus. Now, I did have one in front of me a second ago, but he uh, appears to have run off. Now these guys are extremely skittish dinos. So in order to tame one of these guys, you kind of need to sneak up on them and bowl them. Now you'll generally find these guys in swampy areas. You can see we've got a level 15 one here. We're just going to bowl her real quick. These guys are found on every map except for Scorched Earth. Obviously, Scorched Earth is a desert map island thingy majiggy. It's not going to have any of these water dwelling dudes. Now, like I said, you'll generally find these guys around the swamp. They are tamed violently. Uh, and to tame them, you need simple kibble. If you don't have any simple kibble, you can use some raw mutton. Um, and that's your next best bet. If you can't get your hands on raw mutton, then your next best bet after that would be obviously raw prime meat. So they're a violent tame. You just got to whack some meat into them, get them all tamed up. Now you, you kind of can, but you kind of can't. You can technically mount these guys, but you can only do so in the water. Now the main benefit of these guys is that they have an oxygen stat that is phenomenally higher than yours. For example, this guy has an oxygen stat of 1260. Our oxygen at the moment is only 100. So you tame one of these guys up, you uh, take them with you to the waterway. We're gonna do it real quick. We're just gonna, is he gonna eat? Let's just see if it'll eat. It food, it's food does drop pretty slow. We're just gonna tame it up like that. So what you need to do is you need to get this critter, I guess we can call him, to a waterway. So for example, we've got uh, some lake front property right down here. We're going to come down here, bring the Diplo Callus with us. They are very slow on, I mean, they're not very slow, but they're not the fastest. So you are going to have to hang around a little bit for this guy. This one was only a level 15. They are pretty easy to tame up. Just make sure that there's nothing hostile in the area where you're going about taming them because everything aggro's on these poor dudes. You can also use an RG to pick these guys up and carry them back to the base uh, to safely tame them. But these guys, a main perk is being in the water. So once in the water, you can actually ride these guys. So all you need to do is hold down the E button because take oxygen will be the first priority. And you can actually swim around with these guys in the water. Now the perk of this is that you actually don't use your oxygen meter. So for example, you can see our oxygen meter is constantly replenishing itself. So you can see here that our oxygen is not, well, I mean, it's depleting by like 0.1, but it's been constantly refilled. And that's due to this guy. He constantly replenishes our oxygen at the expense of his own oxygen. So for starting off, you can definitely use these guys to go about exploring the waterways due to them just constantly replenishing your oxygen. And they are also pretty fast underwater. You can also increase their uh, movement speed. Just be wary of their weight as well, because they don't have the greatest, um, weight capacity. So you will need to be careful if you are going in heavy, but you can definitely use these guys to explore some of the underwater terrain and to uh, deal with, not deal with anything because you're not going to really be able to kill anything with these guys. Um, you kind of just want to really swim away from them and avoid. You can attack with them. Now what you want to be attacking you may ask, well trilobites. These guys actually deal bonus damage to trilobites. So what we're going to do, we're going to bring some in right now real quick. We're just going to get some spawned right in and they actually harvest the body straight up away so you can see here there is a trilobite we're going to attack it and literally just straight up one shot it these guys deal about five times bonus damage to trilobites now we're going to spawn in a couple here because we didn't seem to get any resources off them let's just drop all that that's fine all right so let's swim around here we're going to attack these trilobites and you'll see that we get a crap ton of chitin from them now obviously we get the black pearls the silica pearls and the meat and uh the oil but yeah, these guys you can definitely harvest uh, trilobites up the, with ease with the, the uh, Diplo calluses because they deal the five times bonus damage to trilobites. As far as I can tell, it's been five times damage. Um, so you can still use these guys to deal with the trilobites, but that's pretty much all they'll be doing. Now, obviously you can take them into your base and breed them and stuff like that. But the moment you get out onto land, they will kick you off because you will not be able to ride them on land. Now, you can still take oxygen from them if you're like suffering, but I don't really see why you'd need oxygen while you're out on land. So these guys are pretty much only useful in the water. But that's going to be pretty much it for the Diplo Callus, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe down below for more. But other than that, guys, I will catch you in the next one.